name's Tanya Rubin. I'm a social worker and coach, um, and I work in the fertility world. Um, I've been working in this field for the last 18 years. And how I got into it was being a fertility patient myself. So when I was a patient myself, I kind of felt that I needed someone to talk to and there was no one around. So I used to sit in the waiting rooms at Vita Lab, interviewing everyone and trying to talk to everyone about it. So I've been working in the field for 18 years, counseling patients that deal with anything related to infertility. So I always say to patients that I'm so grateful because the one side is having experienced it myself and the other side is being lucky enough to be on the other side of the journey. Um, but I know how hard it is to be a patient. And, and I think that's why I love what I do. Um, just being able to help patients go through this process. Um, but I think on a patient level, you know, for some patients, I see some patients weekly through their treatment processes. I, I think that some patients, if a, if a cycle has been unsuccessful, then it's, like, it's a grief process. So I think that it's different to another grief out there. Like if someone has lost someone, we kind of know how to handle that on some level because our culture might dictate it or um, we have ways of coping with that kind of loss because it's tangible. This is completely intangible. So I think that people don't really know how to deal with it on that level. So sometimes counseling can guide patients through that process. You know, that there's, there's so many losses in the process, whether it's a miscarriage, whether it's a negative cycle, whether it's just an anticipated loss and what is the next step and then the step changes. So there's so many different stages of the process where counselling can help, but it doesn't mean that patients have to go through it. I think it's an add-on to the process um, just to guide patients on many different levels. So it depends on where patients are at and what they need in the process. Counselling is successful in that it just gives you a different angle, something else to focus on and maybe things to think about that they haven't really thought about in making the decisions. So I believe, and maybe it's because I'm a counsellor, but I believe that it's an important part of the process. I think that, you know, it, it gives you something else to focus on. And sometimes you just need someone else to offload on. And I, from what I've seen over the years, majority of patients aren't able to talk to people outside the, in their lives or in their worlds and you end up presenting two different parts you know one part that you are the person you are at work in your life you know maybe with family friends out there and the other part where you can be here where you may be able to just be more vulnerable and let go of every, that picture that you're trying to portray out there and it's not always easy to do that with people you know I think a lot of people out there don't necessarily understand what's involved in the fertility process. So I think because they don't necessarily, and don't necessarily understand it, it's easy to say, well, just keep trying or just adopt, or it's not that hard. And, and you can't really blame people because if they haven't stepped foot in the fertility clinic, why would they understand? And they shouldn't have to understand. I often say, you know, we don't have a frame of reference for fertility, and why should you? No one's brought up being taught about it. It's not hopefully now it's being taught in schools, in high school at least, you know, there's a different understanding maybe now in our generation of people coming to understand what fertility is about because there's so many people that struggle. But in past generations, people didn't even know what fertility treatment is. So they have a very um, ignorant view maybe or they don't have enough knowledge about what fertility treatment is. So they don't necessarily understand what's involved in just one IVF cycle or in a miscarriage or what it means when they say to a person, well, at least you can just fall, you can fall pregnant, just try again. So I think the impact is enormous. So I think that's why a lot of people prefer not to share it with people around them because of those kind of comments, even though they're not meant maliciously. There's just limited understanding around the fertility world. And I think there's also so much secrecy with patients that often they don't talk about it because of their reasons. So people then don't have the opportunity to really understand what's really involved in a fertility journey or a fertility cycle.